All aboard! All aboard! All aboard! Put your hands together for ACAG hey. Production. Hey. We're ready. Hey. Yeah. Hey. We're ready. We're ready. Good afternoon, hey. ACAG hey. Production. Hey. Reaching for the dog on the sky. Just get ready to have a good time. Hey. Good time. Hey. In the night time. Hey. Are you ready? Mama, sister, brother. Good afternoon and welcome to the AC Fun Time Superstar. My name is AC and my co-host is Elder Carly Town. We've got a dynamite show lined up for you today. We like to cover all of the issues in our community. And we have some serious issues about school buses this week. You want to stay tuned. You need to see this and hear it. Yes, and guess what? We got a whole lot of honey for you this week, too. And that honey is entertainment. But we've got a whole lot of castor oil. Now that's information, and that you're gonna definitely get today on the AC Fun Time Superstar. And the baby boomer. And now give it up, show your love. Back by the man is touch, bang, and chill. He don't trouble no one, but if you trouble this man, it will bring on bomb, bomb. What's a bomb, bomb? What's a bomb, bomb? Bomb, bomb, be bomb, bomb. What's a bam bam? What's a bam bam? Bam bam be la bam bam. charter school for another neighborhood. We got people of color. They go to war. They fight. They come back. To what? For what? America's spending money all over the place trying to better life for other people. But what about home? What America needs to do, and its leader, it needs to take a look in America. Look at themselves. Stop going abroad. I was being told, take your home first. Parents from Riverland Terrace refused to use their neighborhood school out of fear, fear of black children. This is not hearsay. Current Montessori families have said so. So if you're giving those who transferred or simply never been, never enrolled a choice, what choice are you offering families who decide against Montessori but choose to remain at Martin the Saint? What options do they have? Martin the Saint isn't a failing school and hasn't been for numerous years. 
So why can't we serve both traditional and Montessori families? Our, vice, our voices were censored. We're now asking you to consider a dual program. Thank you. Thank you. from the Durham School Bus Workers Forum that took place actually a year ago, April 16th, 2013. Within this book, there's page after page of evidence compiled against Durham documenting its failure to provide safe transportation to and from school for our children and its intentional disregard for the rights of the people who work for them. Inside of this book, there are 19 sworn, signed affidavits stating specific safety and workers' rights violations as described by these frustrated employees that work for them. Inside of this book, there are actual pictures of the deplorable conditions inside of the Durham buses that our children rode in each and every day. In relationship to its employees, in this book, this team concluded that, and I quote, there is evidence of serious worker rights violations and substandard and inhumane working conditions at Durham Yards in the United States. We need to alert school boards and communities about the bad practices of this company and we need to push the company to change. Yes, the things that are in this book were yesterday, but unfortunately, the things that are in this book still haven't been fixed today. Still, if you don't really understand how despicable and how ruthless these people are, look at the real life example of former Durham employee Marquette Cooper. Ms. Cooper was wrongfully terminated from Durham and under grievance to the Durham Grievances Division, Ms. Cooper prevailed against Durham in January of this year and is fully entitled to be made whole immediately, but Durham still hasn't made her whole. They said, this decision just means that the grievance should be returned to her position as she held before the termination as well as all of her pay restored. There's a major problem with this Durham, Durham company that I hope that is addressed. If it's, an, if it's an investigation, I don't really see why we have to redo an investigation and pay more money for it. The investigation was done, the evidence still exists, it exists now, and it, it, is, it is true. I really appreciate your time. The school board was there last year when I got this. <laughs> And when I say radical, I mean to the root, which means uh, the root form of radical is radix, which means the root. And I, I want to know how many students are taught this in school. Um, how many students have uh, how many students have learned about uh, the first African American Union at the Ford plant in Detroit, or gone in depth about the teachings of Malcolm X, or talked about SNCC or the Weather Underground? My problem is not the Montessori school, but the system in which is enacting it. I look at my niece's textbooks and mine in the past, and they're all uh, sponsored by multinational corporations, which aren't going to allow in their curriculum to be taught anything that goes against you know, their ideologies. So um, basically, I just wanted to express my concern for the whole school system and how it's enacted, and um, and uh, the bus situation. Like, we need to get our kids to school safely. And I don't know what the problem is with you know letting that uh, happen. So, thank you very much. And now, yes, sir, buddy, we are definitely on the move. We are all over this here low country. Is that right, El Cotley Town? Uh, we, now we got Lance Star. Lance Star, let's go do this thing. Take it away, Lance. I'm a dirty rascal. 
our schools are becoming segregated. Black schools, our kids are beginning to be bused away from their home school. We are not going to sit back and allow this to happen. We are organizing that we have to put boots on the ground, that we have to boycott, that we have to select the buy-in. We are not going to allow this to happen. You're not going to turn this city back to 1960 or 55 where you bus kids to, uh, uh, 10 miles to a different school. We need to pay close attention to what is happening. Since Dr. McGinley got here, this system has been turned completely around. If we are not going to take it, I will show you we will be organizing. And we are sick and tired of these failing schools in the black community. They got it. These kids will be competing with the jobs coming here from Boeing. Google's about to open up. Robert Bosch is extended. They will not have any of these jobs if they cannot be educated. The county jail, Charleston County Jail, will put four more stories on top of their facility that they have now if these kids are not educated. There'd be more crime. I'm telling you, you need to get together with the leaders of this community and turn this situation around unless we will stop this city. And I promise you that. Buses and like in the like in the summer the buses are like really hot and like the chairs in the buses they're like there's like cuss words usually written on them and like holes in the chairs. And now as we travel to another hot spot, we are visiting another low country superstar, Elder Carly Town. Who is this? Well, we interviewed her last week. It's Natasha Gray. Well, let's sit back, ladies and gents, and check this out. Natasha, show us what you got. This is God talking to us. Just put your trust in me. Anything you need, have faith in me. Just say, oh, just say. I can move up mountains And I'll be your strength Oh, when you're weary We can Trust and believe and answer in his name. I'm here tonight to support the task, community task force and uh, we started to um, tie the district line up all day, but I said no, so they sent me here and I had missed y'all being here with y'all. But we need this standalone middle school yesterday and we needed be placed on the red campus yesterday and uh, we need to set an example for everyone to show that every child have an equal asset to education and a challenging education for every child now this is like we did when the district wanted president street clothes we got together and we closed that street. Now the community is willing to do the same thing to make sure that we have a standalone middle school. We have some people that do not want the middle school downtown. For whatever reason it is, they used to come to these meetings and disturb these meetings because they don't want it. You need to put it down downtown. Now, you don't have to wait because they're trying to destroy public education. We can't allow that. You already point someone from Hot Gap, um, one of your staff members. The Constituent School Board worked hard on this. 
the community work hard on this. Myself, attend those meetings with input, <coughs> friends of birth, as community activists, we need this now. And if you go back years ago, we killed the bond referendum. We would like to continue to work with the school district to make sure we have the best for every child in Charleston County. Gucci bags, Louis bags, designer made expensive dreams, they told me the thing. And that's the world of money. I don't tell me the spotlight, baby. Lights, camera, attention on me. Shit, I wanna sit on top of the world. People know me and Alpha, all of the while my mama saying, Look at my baby, he's a star. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. See my name. I see my name. Uh. Good afternoon and welcome to the AC Fun Time Superstar. My name is AC and my co-host is Elder Carly Town. Elder Carly Town, we had a terrific time today. Tell us something about where we at, Elder Carly Town. We at Trident College, and we at the Low Country Exposure Fashion Show. And we are visiting with what's your name, sir? Boy Levin. You nailed it today. Thank you. I appreciate. Tell it. me a little more about yourself. Well, my name is Boy Levin. I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, by way of New York. Um, you know, my music is uh, inspired by reggae. Grew up in a, a mixed household, Jamaican father, and I just want to inspire people with my music to be fearless, be courageous, and operate on unconditional love. Wow. We're expecting to hear a whole lot from you, aren't we, Elder Kali? Yes, we are, because you're going to be on AC Funtime Superstar and the Baby Boomers. <laughs> we know you're not a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Okay, well, listen, uh, it's been a plum pleasing pleasure, and we're going to be seeing you around, okay? All right, sounds good. Sounds See you. Thank you. I come before you just requesting a few things. We would like to request families for all children in Charleston County Schools that students are allowed to remain in their neighborhood schools and be afforded the same opportunities, the same options as traditional, as Montessori, and that do not increase taxpayers' expenses by providing buses and busing students out of their neighborhoods. We would like to see an immediate reduction in minority students in failing schools, and we'd like to see an increase and minority teachers in all schools. All children matter. We want the same educational opportunities for all students, not just a select few. We would like for you to listen to the voices of this community and stop making decisions that are not in the best interest of all students. Yes. We'd like for you to consider the concerns of the bus drivers safety issue for our students. Our students are number one. They should be your priority. Oh. So we're asking you to listen to their concerns. And finally, let's get politics out of these schools. Yeah. That's what we pay the superintendent to do. And that's what the board is here for, to support the best decision for all students, not the mayor's but the superintendent and this board. Thank you. Thank you. Let's fight for education and not gentrification. Thank you for your And now we're going to take you back in the 60s with the Ann Bellamy and Dancing for Life class. Boy, what a throwback party that was, right? We had a ball. Look out, DJ Roger. Get the groove on, brother. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what we call good, clean, fun, and entertainment, just like the boat ride next week. On the board, on the board, on the board, on the board, on the board. I don't care what they say. Don't care what they say. Don't care what they say.
call our children, and we all should want the best for them. One young man I met who was expelled from West Ashley, walking from West Ashley to the city. And I asked him, what happened to you? He said, I was expelled. I said, expelled for what? For student in class. I said, your mother was over? No. John said, call your mom. He called his mother. His mother said she wasn't a welder. I said, where do you live? And I'll trust me. I took him home. Now, if something happened, that child was fooled when they found him before. We always tried to find something better than a spell on our kids. I would like to see a building that we can utilize for our children who are being expelled. Because I, I don't want them in jail. I want the best of them. I want them to stay in school and be good students so they can do a good job. I love them and I want the best for them. Not for one, but for all. Thank you. Murray the and James Allen Charter High School. James Allen Charter High School, I was on that board before. This year we have not one black representation on that board. The way they do their voting system, they leave to be looked at by this here board. Charleston, I heard somebody say we're going back to the 60s and the 50s. I, I, I told the board, uh, I went to their meeting last Monday night and I gave the same sentiments. Charleston County is going backwards. I see you know, all the good reports that y'all have, but who is it for? Who is it for? We better wake up. Charleston is going backwards. And right now, we better open up our eyes and get some representation around here. Thank you. Trust me, as you can see, we had a ball at this your party. And it's now time for us to get myself a party. Yeah, will you say, all the colleagues? I say, yeah, to that. Let's get up out of here. Take me home. On the board. On the board. For this stagecoach is about to move out. And it's for everyone that has potential and would love to be a superstar. Yeah, buddy, this stagecoach is leaving for your driver to see that we have a safe trip. AC is your conductor. Come on, everybody. Head it down to Thunsville. Come on. Come on, take the ride if you will. Everybody. You don't have to worry the Lord about God nothing. is your driver. Just come on and get on board. Ladies and gentlemen, no tickets will be accepted on this trip. Stay tuned for next week when we do the boat ride. We're going to show you some short clips of the boat ride for next week. Georgetown, Kennedyville. Mount Pleasant and 41. Oh, look out. Next stop, Orlando. And the surrounding area. Coming downtown, Charleston. North Charleston, West Ashley. The Geechee Nation must rise up as a On the board, 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 on the board. Well, that's it for me. I trust that you had a wonderful time. See me next week, AC Funtime Superstar, as we do the boat ride. Don't forget, hook us up on Facebook to join the Singles Club. Remember, we're not all just about meeting someone to get married, but we're going to network and be empowered. Elder Cully Town, what you say? If you're already married and you have the tools or the information to empower our community, hit us up on Facebook, Arthur Chase, and he'll be riding the White House. Or either elder politics. And you wanna stay tuned for next week because we're gonna have a whole lot of Castro. 
And that's information. Oh, but excuse me for not calling you elder, but call it down, you need to room about that honey. We're gonna have some honey next week. We're gonna be on the boat ride getting off. And hey, look at here. There's some special guests that I'm not even gonna tell you about. Check us next week. You just got to be there.